everyone, welcome back to Wild Willy Productions. Yeah, we're getting our new intros. Anyways, so we're back again with another video in the series I posted a day about a day ago or so. I don't know. The other one hasn't been posted yet. So in here we are doing what I think is a great idea, and that is driver debates. We will be debating. We debate two drivers. And who we believe is better in terms of categories, consistency. With the first installment episode, Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson. It's no surprise that both of these drivers are at the top, to be top of their game. Um, you know, four wins for Elliott, five wins for Larson. You know, Larson one ups him in wins and polls, but Chase Elliott's. <sighs> Significantly younger than him. Significantly younger than Kyle Larson by almost. I almost really like two or three years, you know. It's only like 23 Larson's, about like 26 or 7. And you know, both these drivers, um, you know, have stellar successes at racetracks and records. Of alumni, but you can probably tell. Um, I don't use a camera, I use a phone, so my hands all jobly around, missing, you know. Let drop it down in the comments below. And so, anyways, um, for these two drivers, first we look at wins. And now Chase Elliott has four career wins at four different racetracks with five, sorry. Four different sponsors going to Victory Lane. First career win, Watkins Glam with Sun Energy. All with the same crew chief and team, as well as in two separate years. You know, second career win was at Dover. You know, brought his primary sponsor, Napa Auto Parts of Victory Lane. And Rick Hendrick. And he's brought Mountain Dew into Victory Lane twice. And his third career win in Kansas and at Talladega. Where Little Caesars would also go to victory lane in that same race. But if we look at Kyle Larson, in terms of wins, he won his first career race in 2016, made the playoffs, but went out in round of 16 with Chase Elliott as a rookie, made it all the way to the round of 12. And then we look at the latter half of these guys' careers, looking at it, so, you know, has five career wins, but has brought more sponsors to victory lane, because yes, he has more sponsors, but he has three wins at Michigan. This brought Target four times, Target at Coca Cola, Victory Lane multiple times, Axe, Clutch, a lot of sponsors to Victory Lane because of being a low funded team. And then we also look here at, you know, poles. You know, Elliott has four restricted play poles, then a short track and a mile. You know, it's Kyle Larson's got poles, you know, all across the board. And two, three poles seasons in a row. Um, you know, you know, at uh so he's won two yeah, he this one had the last two Sonoma poles as well as so you know, he's been a very successful driver. But recently he has fallen off while Chase Elliott shows success week in and week out. But here's the thing. Chase Elliott's driving Arguably a better car, but they're both in head of most sports equipment Partially because you know Larson Project Cassidy, but they have alignments with Hendrick Motorsports The catch is Larson Has shown how bad he's fallen with Kurt Busch, you know beating him in the point standings. I Mean look Kurt Busch is like seventh rate for the points Elliot's locked in so it's unlikely that I think I think Kyle Larson will make the playoffs, but if he falls off, he's gonna miss it. He's right on the bubble with Jimmy Johnson, so it's gonna be difficult. Don't get me wrong, and you know there's a possibility that if he were to continue to struggle, I don't see this happening. But it is hypothetically possible in the next couple of years, Kyle Larson could lose his ride if he doesn't. Bring back that 2017 success. So, look out for Kyle Larson. He could be a silly season. Um, person to watch out for. 
Not in all, not this year, obviously, but possibly in a year or two, if he continues to dial down and wins, or even speed. You know, if he continues to, you know, wreck. You know, keep in mind, though, let's look at Chase Elliott, look at Kyle Larson, and what they've done. All of them have made the playoffs three years in a row, but Larson's missed the playoffs twice in his rookie season and then in his sophomore season. Where Chase Elliott almost made the homestead, and probably should have made a homestead, in case you haven't guessed, Elliott or whatever, could have, in fact, should have made a homestead if, if Marginville or Phoenix went his way, or even both. You know, if you look at Larson and Elliott, um, they both had multiple times to win, but Elliott's got more, has 